if you're new to this channel, there's two things that I love, crazy people and celebrities. Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Luke, and welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post commentary and critique and reaction videos on basically anything on the internet that interests me. So if any of that interests you, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notifications bell so that you never miss another upload from me. Alrighty guys, today's video is quite different from the videos I've been doing recently because there's a lot to this video. And before we get into it, let me just say that if you are a fan of the YouTuber that I'm going to be speaking about today, I would just like for you to hear what I have to say before you leave your opinion down below. This video is not hateful or malicious. This video is a critique, okay, of this YouTuber. And I have thought long and hard about whether or not I want to make this video because I have a lot of conflicting emotions about this YouTuber. This video is inspired by D'Angelo Wallace's video. He's another commentary YouTuber. I love his content. He is amazing. I almost considered not doing this because I was like, like, what's the point if he's already done such a great job? But we'll get into why I'm doing it in a little bit. But if you would like to check out his video, I will link it down below. But now onto the reason as to why I'm making this video because it is quite relevant. So I used to be a fan of Shaolin Lester. I found her channel last year. I don't remember when, but she came up in my recommendations and I love YouTube channels where YouTubers literally just talk for ages. Her content is very niche. There's not really anybody else who does what she does. She makes videos about celebrity gossip, news and drama and relates it back to the viewers by giving relationship advice and advice on just your family, friends and mental health and all that other type of stuff. She's a very charismatic and entertaining person. This woman knows how to keep an audience engaged. This woman is smart. She's good at what she does. But as I was watching her, I started to notice how her content just started to get really unnecessarily negative. I love a good roast. My favorite YouTubers are like Cody Ko and other YouTubers that roast people or critique people. I enjoy that type of content. But all of the YouTubers that I watch, and I would like to think myself as well, it never comes from a malicious point of view. But Shallon started getting really, really malicious. Her content started to get really, really negative, and it really just made me feel uncomfortable. I actually vividly remember the last two videos I've watched of hers that got me to stop watching her last year. The first one was a video she made about Taylor Swift's documentary. Now, if you've watched the Taylor Swift documentary, you will know that it is a very emotional documentary and Shallon just completely shat all over that documentary. And she's done this countless times with Taylor Swift in the past, but for some reason that was kind of a turning point for me. And then another turning point was just realizing the lies that she creates. She has built her channel and creates her content on speculation and on lies. She says she has all these sources, although she's never really showing any receipts. What happened to receipts? Remember when that was a thing? Nope, she doesn't show any proof. All she says, and she'll say this in every single video. I used to be the uh, editor of Star Magazine. A few problems with that. First of all, used to be, meaning you are not anymore, meaning you do no longer have access to those sources. And even if you do still have sources and you know people in the industry, how is it that she has sources about all of these celebrities that she talks about? Seems a little bit fishy to me, especially considering that there is constantly new news and new drama every single week. It's just interesting that she, for some reason, Shallon Lester is able to know everything that's going on in these people's lives, even though she doesn't know any of them personally. Another thing is these <laughs> celebrity gossip magazines, since when were they credible? Somebody want to tell me that? Since when? Oh, another thing to mention, Shallon actually used to be a guest person on the Wendy Williams show. And here with the dish is senior editor from Star Magazine. Give it up for Shady, Shallon <laughs> Lester, yes! So if that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what does because Wendy Williams is straight up cold. She is mean, she is a bully. So Shallon being on that show makes just about perfect sense. Another place that you may have known her from is the how to cost videos. There is an entire playlist of her teaching you how to kiss, which is not bad, I guess. It's just cringy. Oh, well, that's the way you feel. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, what? You want to meet my parents? Okay. <laughs> But yeah, back to all of her lies. So she made a video about Harry Styles and you know what? I'm just gonna roll the clip. They were walking one way and me and her were walking the other way and Harry, like he just looked at me, he's like, you're gorgeous. And I was like, yeah. And he like pushed me up against the wall and it was like this drive by make out. It was like 30 seconds of snogging. And his friend's like, mate, oi, come on, Harry. And my friend was up there and she's like, were you making out with Harry Styles? And I was like, did I hallucinate that? Did that happen? She's like, yes, what? And I'm like, I don't know. And she's like, well, I'm back to dressing her. Um, so as you can see, that is delusional. Cause like before she would say all these things and I was like, oh, I wonder how she knows that. Maybe she's just speculating. Maybe it's allegedly. I mean, maybe she does have these sources. She lives in New York city. She seems to be a big socialite. She worked for Star Magazine. It didn't seem too far off. But then when she said that she made out with Harry Styles, that's when I knew she's one of those people that lies so much that she clearly believes her own lies. And at that point, after all the slander on Taylor Swift, 
Swift after her documentary and then after her lying about making out with Harry Styles, that was when I decided to unsubscribe and stop watching Shallon Lester. And that was not the loss that I saw of Shallon Lester. Her videos keep coming up in my recommendations. Her videos are constantly pushed because like I said, she's at the top of her niche. Celebrity news, she must get an amazing watch time because her videos are super engaging and her click through rate would be off the charts because the clickbait titles are amazing. And I'm a fan of clickbait, but hers, she just takes it to another level, a level that is beyond insensitive to say the least. And I had a few other other videos pop up in my recommendations. And the reason that I mentioned this, let me just say that everything that I'm saying in this video all drives back to a final point. Okay, because I know it seems like I'm all over the place and that's just because there's a lot. And I was up really late last night, just falling down a deep dark hole of all of her recent videos. I've lost a lot of brain cells, y'all. So I had some of her videos pop up in my recommendations and <laughs> I just, I cannot even believe it's real, y'all. I cannot. Not only did she make videos capitalizing off of the current global pandemic, <laughs> but the video that really just took my breath away is a video on how to cheat. She literally made a video on how to cheat and get away with it. And she's a dating expert, giving dating advice to impressionable, what I assume, young girls. Pretty messed up stuff, right? Okay, but that's literally the tip of the iceberg. See, I have all of these receipts, all of these videos, all of this documentation that we're gonna get into. Before we get into it, I would just like to say that we are gonna be getting into some really touchy, serious topics today because unfortunately that's what Shallon does. Topics like depression, anxiety, BPD, uh, bipolar, so many things that can be very triggering to people. So just tread lightly with this video. I'll give a warning before we get into something because I really don't want to trigger anyone because her content is triggering. I don't want to subject you guys to that, okay? I don't think anyone should be subjected to that. That's the main reason I'm making this video. I am confused as to how she is thriving on this platform right now because there's no way, no way that her content is in alignment with the YouTube guidelines. She can make all of these horrendous, slanderous claims about these people and give this awful advice on mental health and act as if she's some sort of psychologist, which she's not and give all this harmful commentary and get away with it. How she has avoided a lawsuit is beyond me. Okay, but anyway, let's get into it. So like I said, her channel is built on celebrity gossip and celebrity news. Now, me personally, I don't really care about celebrities. I've said this multiple times before. I'm not really a stan of anyone. I'm not that invested. So it's very bizarre to me, somebody like Shallon Lester who is so invested in celebrities' lives. She speaks as if she knows these people. She rarely ever says the word allegedly before she makes her claims, which is why I'm confused as to why she hasn't gotten a lawsuit but that's a bigger fish that I don't have time to fry. She has specific celebrities that she loves and specific celebrities that she hates. Her bias is so blatant, which is exactly what you don't want as a news slash commentary slash gossip slash tea slash critique channel, whatever you want to call it, okay? Having bias, which we all naturally have one, but having a blatant one and not being able to move past it is not good if you are in this industry or this field, okay? I've spoken about it before in my video on drama channels. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below self promo I know but she has clear biases okay she <laughs> Whenever she speaks about Justin Bieber, Selena, and Hailey Borden, because she speaks about them so much, it's like she's a part of their situation somehow. I think that is related to her obsession with Justin Bieber. Now, a lot of different things surfaced about this. She's somewhat of a predator, okay? She has spoken about in a lot of her videos, because I have watched a lot of them in the past, how she only dates younger guys, which is fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of older men who date younger women, but where the issue comes beyond just the age disparity and the power imbalance, is the stuff that she said about Justin Bieber when he was underage. So back in 2010, she had some tweets where she basically just said a lot of thirsty sexual things about Justin Bieber, who at the time was 15 and she was 25. So she was a decade older than him. He was underage and she was saying these things about him. And the cherry on top of this cake is that in her Instagram bio, it says Shallon, author, editor, predator. I will admit that does have a nice ring to it, but what I will say is she clearly does not take it seriously. She's clearly poking fun of it. It's clearly a joke. In the background of some of her videos, she has shirtless pictures of Sean and Justin Bieber. You know, that's fine. They're of age now. I don't give a crap about that. Is it sort of creepy? Kind of. But the fact that she said that stuff about him when he was underage, that's not something any of us can gloss over. Now, moving on to her despise for Selena Gomez. Let's get into that, okay? Because I want to start this video off light. And believe it or not, this is us starting it off light 
it gets so much darker from here. And we could make it a whole video about her disdain and hate towards Selena Gomez, but we're just gonna look at one video she made on Selena Gomez. Now let me pull up the title about this. Her titles are something else, I tell you that much. Selena Gomez boyfriend reaction. Is Selena stalking The Weeknd and Bella Hadid? She had another video about Selena Gomez that I won't get into today for time purposes. It's titled The Truth, Selena Gomez Bipolar, People Who Make Up Excuses for Bad Behavior, Selena Gomez Lying for Attention. So you can see how she draws in the person. She makes these bold claims that make you want to click the video and she more than delivers. Okay, I would even call it clickbait because she says what she says in the title, if not worse. But let's get into this video, okay, about Selena Gomez. I can't stand Selena Gomez. Why? Not because she's got an autoimmune disease, not because she struggled with substance abuse issues and she continues to still drink and do drugs probably. It's because she lies and she gaslights her fans. So if you're here to be like, oh, leave Selena alone, she is alone. So if you don't know, Selena Gomez has lupus, I believe, and she had to get a kidney transplant. Shallon is like weirdly obsessed with this. So Selena isn't really seen anymore with her friend who gave her the kidney, which is nobody's business but her own. And Shallon constantly talks about how Selena used her friend for her kidney, manipulated her friend into giving her a vital organ, okay, and then doesn't treat it properly because according to Shallon, Selena Gomez abuses all these substances, whatever this, whatever bold claims she is making here. So when I see Selena Gomez fans like blindly ship everything she's doing, I'm like, when she overdoses, and she will, y'all can thank yourselves because you didn't hold her accountable. It was, leave her alone, everyone else is lying. <laughs> What I love about Shallon is her constant hypocrisy and contradiction and the irony littered throughout her videos. She constantly speaks about how Selena Gomez gaslights people. Meanwhile, she's manipulating and gaslighting people as well. She's saying that if Selena Gomez overdoses, which is a horrible thing to say, that it will be her fans' fault. She's placing blame on her young, impressionable fans for Selena Gomez's demise, which she's wishing upon her. I don't think I need to explain to you guys why this is messed up. I think we can all deduce that. You know, I think it's so incredibly interesting that this 35 year old grown ass woman, which by the way, might I add, I know some people are like, age is just a number, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. Age is an indicator as to how long you've been put on this earth. You would think that by the time someone is approaching middle age, that they'd be mature enough to not be able to say things like this. And the people that are calling her out on her BS, i.e., you know, D'Angelo, Keisha, me, all these other people are literally like 15 years her junior. And we can think of these things. Our literal frontal cortex isn't fully developed yet. And we're still being able to deduce these things because it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do that. You just have to be a decent human being. Do you honestly think that that's helpful? Have you never watched an episode of Intervention? But do you honestly think that your videos are helpful? That's the thing is she likes to act as if she is being helpful to people. In what way are the slanderous videos that she makes helpful to anyone? You think the celebrities are watching your videos taking down notes? Do you think that you're giving advice to people that is genuinely you? useful in this hateful type of way? No, no you're not. Selena doesn't need a boyfriend. She needs another drink. She needs a fix. She needs some maybe vital organs. How's that pancreas doing, boo? Hmm? How's that doing? You in the market for that? You searching on eBay for a used pancreas? You might want to get a jump on it. I'm not hating on someone because they have an organ transplant. That's horrible. I'm hating on her because she conned her friend out of an organ Stop speaking to her, refer to her as that girl who gave me a kidney and continues to drink. It's her kidney that she has given to you so that you may live and that's how you repay her. And this is what, I mean, I, she makes me insane. See, this is what really confuses me. I just don't understand people like Shallon who are so invested in celebrities' lives. You don't know these people. They don't owe you shit. okay? Just because you don't see something on social media doesn't mean it didn't happen. Just because Selena is no longer seen with this girl doesn't mean she's no longer friends friends with her. And even if she is no longer friends with her, that's none of your goddamn business. What she does with the kidney that that friend chose to give her is her business. Stop inserting yourself in people's lives and acting like you know what is going on. It's beyond ludicrous. I forgot to say that her teeth look like dentures. She looks like George Washington with like wooden teeth. She's just a bully. Don't even get me started on stuff that she said about other people. She made an entire video slagging off Ed Sharon, constantly bringing him down because of the way that he looks. And saying like these horrible things. Her perception of the world is so jaded. The way that she thinks about men and women and the roles that they are supposed to play is so jaded. And it's so confusing to me as well because Shallon has came out as bisexual, yet she has these very fixated, heteronormative, dated ways of thinking when it comes to the role that men and women play in a relationship. She thinks that what women have to offer is one thing and what men have to offer is one thing. She treats relationships as if they are a game. She treats relationships as if 
you are trading things with each other. They're like they are a business transaction. And I cannot even begin to describe it to you guys because we would be here for so long, okay? But enough of that. Let's move on to some other things because we could talk about the Selena drama all day, but I really just, I don't understand her vendetta against Selena. I mean, I guess I do because she's so beyond obsessed with Justin Bieber and for some reason thinks that she is Hayley Baldwin's doppelganger that she feels the need to hate on this poor girl who is, might I add, almost a decade younger than her. Bizarre. Let's move on to Meghan Markle, another woman that Shallon hates and constantly drags through the mud. I have a very low opinion of Meghan Markle. She is a woman who took a man away from his family through her own manipulation and machinations. We have also talked about how she seduced him. She honed in on Harry's shadow self. She was in his ear, Markle sparkling him and being like, you're the true king. You don't need any of them. You're no one's puppet. You're a man all on your own. Look at everything you've accomplished. Look at everything you have to give to the world. Step away from them and towards me, the only person who sees that in you. This is all part of the Markle plan to dip out of Hollywood, go get that princess clout, and then come riding back into Hollywood at the top of the food chain. Okay, so a lot to unpack here. This is a thing that Shallon does a lot whenever she speaks about people's relationships, which first of all, why are you getting involved in other people's relationships. It's genuinely 100% out of your business. But whenever she speaks about relationships, she always picks a side. She always treats one person as if they have no agency and as if they are just the victim and they are weak. And the other person as if they are the horrible person that is manipulating this person to do whatever they want and controlling them. She never looks at things from both sides or understands that there are two parties at play when it comes to a relationship. And she does stuff like this, like the speculation. When has Meghan Markle ever said that she wanted to be a prince? Princess, or that she wanted to go be a princess so she could get that princess clout and then come back to Hollywood. This is literally all speculation. This whole Markle Sparkle plan that she had to take Harry away from his family. Like, where is your proof? This is literally all speculation. Not once. Did you hear her say allegedly? Oh, maybe I should get my ears checked because I don't believe I did. I would acknowledge that, oh yeah, it was Megan who leaked to the press that William had had affairs so that she could put Kate in her place and not make that Ooh. quite so uppity. According to who? Where's the receipts? Where's the proof? How can you make claims like this? She is spreading this misinformation. This is slander. This is defamation. How no one has done anything about it? I don't even know. That's because I feel like these celebrities don't see this content. To them, it's probably irrelevant. But the problem is, is I'm not making this video for the celebrities, okay? I'm making it for the people that watch her videos because it's so easy to believe what she says because she is so smart and so charismatic and people are so impressionable, especially vulnerable people who are looking for advice from someone like her. I used to believe the things that she said when I was not in a good mental headspace, but now it's finally clicked. And that's why me and a lot of other people are making these videos, okay? I don't want anybody to think that I'm jumping on a bandwagon because that's truly one of the reasons I did not want to make this video, but it doesn't sit right with me to have been a fan of her and know the impact that she has in the way that she can pull you in and not make a video like this, okay? This must be an incredibly lonely and isolating time for Prince Harry, and I do feel sorry for him. He got taken in by a con man. Alrighty, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say on this Prince Harry, Meghan Markle debacle because there's not much more to say. The stuff that she goes on to say is just beyond ludicrous. She basically discusses how Prince Charles now has the virus going around and how Meghan won't let Harry see him and she's isolated him from his family and like this, this, that, and the third. She's painting Meghan to be this con artist who has taken this man away from his family as if he has no agency or no decision making when it comes to their life as well. And you don't know what goes on in their life and in their relationship. What I'm not showing in the video because we don't have time is the latter half of her videos because the first half is when she does all of her lies and her speculations about celebrities but then her thing is like so what can we learn from this situation and then she like gives you advice that you can take into your life which is just so beyond toxic because you are not a psychologist you know you are not a therapist people should not be taking advice from you on mental health family struggles and relationship advice especially when it comes from such a toxic place like this okay next up i want to delve further into her opinions and her attitude towards mental health because they are truly just shocking. Okay, so we'll start off light and I'll give you a warning before it gets too serious. This is a video that she made about Haley and Justin Bieber. Justin has Lyme disease. We've covered that. We've talked about that. So whatever it is he's got, he's got something. Anyway. Yeah, so this is another thing she does. She likes to act as if celebrities, when they open up about their struggles, whether it be physical struggles or mental struggles, she likes to insinuate that they are lying, which is so beyond toxic. I am 
proud of them as a couple for being like, now is not the time to have a child. So yeah, this video is about why they haven't had a baby yet, which is so incredibly personal. I don't know why you would think it's your place to make a video on this. Maybe your partner doesn't have Lyme disease, a la Justin Bieber, but maybe he's depressed. Oh, I'm so depressed. I, he suffers from anxiety. Oh, that's interesting. A white man on planet Earth suffers from anxiety and depression. Yeah, so her opinion of men who struggle with mental health is obviously not great. If you've watched any of her videos, you would know that. This is a very light example as to how she treats the matter, but she constantly diminishes their mental health struggles. And mental health, we all know, does not discriminate. Anybody can have mental health struggles. And you don't know what they have. Because, shocker, you're not their psychologist. Okay, so moving on from Justin Bieber, we are getting into some more serious territory. So just know that this content is quite sensitive. I've actually cut out some stuff because I personally don't even feel comfortable listening to it. If you are sensitive or you get triggered by discussions of self-harm or taking your own life that we will be discussing that briefly. Next up is this video that she made on Pete Davidson. We're gonna talk about Ariana Grande today and not just Ariana, her garbage fire of an ex, Pete Davidson. We always knew Pete was a mess. And the thing that I had a problem with with Pete was not that he's bipolar, not great. Not that he's got borderline personality disorder, also not great. Okay, once again, she's discussing these two mental health disorders that are extremely stigmatized and she's adding this negative connotation with the whole not great, not great, ooh, like the yikes kind of attitude. When aren't your videos about giving people advice on, you know, their mental health struggles and relationships, this, this, that, and the third, how is somebody who struggles with bipolar disorder or borderline personality disorder supposed to feel when they see you react this way? You essentially make a mockery of some of these things. But that he doesn't care to fix any of it. Okay, well, you can't fix bipolar disorder or BPD. It's something that you can manage, but you can't just fix it. He's going to rehab in service of getting more drugs. That's what that means. I go to rehab so I can con my doctors into giving me more drugs. Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. See, I thought people went to rehab to get help for their addictions. But according to Shallon, they go there to get more drugs? I don't think if he was doing a lot of extracurricular recreational drugs, he would have to keep getting his prescription drugs adjusted so frequently. They would probably just work because the baseline body they were working in would be a constant. This is just wrong. You know, I'm not a mental health expert, but I was watching D'Angelo's video and he did his research because he always does amazing research. And with bipolar disorder, you can't just stay on one medication. It has to be readjusted. So her information that she's providing is just straight up false. Just false. You can tell she puts like no research research into these videos. What strikes me overall is what he chose to share. And then she goes on to speak about his struggles with self-harm and I cannot put that in this video. It was so difficult for me to watch. I don't want to show that to you guys, but just know that she said some really nasty things about him struggling with self-harm that for anybody who has struggled with that would just not make them feel great, okay? And it, it, it just takes you back to a dark place that nobody deserves to be taken back to. It's so, that's what I'm saying, it's so triggering. Okay, moving on. People with borderline personality disorder are not born, they're made. And they are very, very often made. There's a high correlation between a narcissistic parent and someone who gets BPD. But he's got borderline personality disorder. So something bad happened in that house. I just, this makes me so upset because how can you make these lies and speculations about what goes on in somebody else's home? You do not know what goes on behind closed doors. It's so harmful. It goes so much beyond these celebrities. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys. She has three, well, she had 350,000 subscribers. She gets hundreds of thousands of views. She has impressionable people who are watching her and she is spreading lies and furthering the stigmatism against all these different mental health disorders. You're perpetuating her harmful view of relationships and the roles that men and women are supposed to play and the victim blaming as well. I just, I cannot, it goes on beyond these celebrities, which is why I think it's important for us commentary channels to be discussing this. Mental health disorders are such a dangerous thing to spread misinformation about and to say nasty things about like this because those are the people who are the most vulnerable and the most sensitive and they're the ones watching her videos and you are altering people perception of these things. You are affecting people. The things that you say has an impact, has an influence on the people who are watching your content. And then it has a ripple effect. It goes and affects the people in their life, the people they're in a relationship with, their family, their friends, because she's giving advice on how to go about your life. And the advice that you are giving is coming from this toxic place. You are not a therapist. You are not a psychologist. YouTube should not allow this content to be up. It's so dangerous. He has thoughts, but insisted he would never commit
because he has a mom and a sister and doesn't want to hurt them. You know what him bringing that up smacks of to me? Revenge. If you're not going to commit, why would you even bring it up? People who struggle with these thoughts need to be speaking about this to people. It's the people who keep them to themselves who leave this world and we're all left wondering what could we have done differently? How could we have helped them? It's important that people speak about these things. That is why everybody as time goes on is fighting for mental health disorders to not be so stigmatized so that we can open up the discussion so that we can save lives. Do you see what I'm trying to say about how jaded and backwards her thinking is? That whole mentality of like if you're not going to do it why even bring it up? Maybe so that they can get help so that they don't do it in the future and this whole revenge Look, I understand one point that she made about people who get in fights with their significant other and they're like, oh, if you leave me, I'm gonna take my own life and stuff. That's messed up for sure. But that's not what he was saying he was doing. He just said that what stopped him from doing that is that he loves his sister and his mom, so he would never wanna leave them behind. That's one of the main reasons people don't do it. That's a valid reason. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look at one final video. This is a video that she did on Ellen DeGeneres. Now there's been a lot of stuff coming out on Ellen. I, from what I can deduce, I don't know her, but I don't think Ellen is a great person. There's been a lot of people who have interned there, worked for her, had experiences with her who have opened up in a thread on Twitter about all of the not so nice things that she has done and said in the way that she behaves. Whatever. This is beyond whether or not Ellen is a nice person. Okay, let's get into this. Ellen is actually a monster. Now I've talked about how to spot a psychopath before because I am fascinated by psychopaths and I read multiple books on psychopathy. So let's go over the hair psychopathy checklist. So maybe she's not Ted Bundy level 39, but do you want to deal with someone who's even level 25? I don't know enough about Ellen. Ellen and her history because I don't f care. I'm sorry, but she simply checks too many of these boxes for me. I have noticed this throughout my own personal non-peer reviewed research of psychopaths is a love for animals. Do you know who loved animals so much that they made a ton of animal protection laws? Hitler. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's insane. I cannot even believe that this is real. Just because you do research on psychopaths and you read books about it and you're fascinated about it, doesn't mean that you get to diagnose people with that. Even if you were a psychologist, you still wouldn't be able to diagnose people without actually having a formal diagnosis with that person. Yet that's exactly what she's doing. And this whole ticking off the boxes, checking off the boxes, determining whether or not somebody is a psychopath isn't just a little fun quiz that you can do off of Google. And comparing Ellen to Ted Bundy and Hitler is insane. That's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm sure there is so much more that I could discuss, so much more that is going to come out about this woman. She already has limited the comments on her Instagram and made her Twitter private, so she knows that she's in hot water. I don't know if she's going to speak about it. She's already losing subscribers. I don't know what is going to happen from this. The reason that I'm making this video is just because I know that there might be somebody out there like me who used to watch her videos, who is maybe more impressionable or more vulnerable and really gets drawn in by her charm and her charisma and her entertaining videos and the way that she speaks. She's an entertaining person. She can be funny. I'll give her that. But that only lasts so long. It's like she puts this cloud over you that kind of clouds your judgment. You'll be watching a video and she'll say something and you'll be like, oh, that was... That was kind of mean, but like the way that she goes about it, you just forget about it and move on. I'm making this video because we cannot ignore this type of behavior. This is the type of channel that should not be on the platform. I'm not telling you guys to do anything. I'm just informing you of what is there, what is right in front of us. So that if you are one of those people like me who used to watch her videos and listen to her advice and take her advice and was impressionable, that maybe you should think otherwise. Because this type of content is slanderous and it's dangerous and it is harmful to the mental health community and all the work that we have done in the years to destigmatize all these mental health disorders. It's so beyond just these celebrities. But you know what guys, that's all I gotta say for this video. I really, really, really hope that you understand my point because you guys know I don't make videos like this. So when I do, I'm passionate about it clearly. So I hope that you got something from this. I hope you can let me know what your opinion is down below. Let's be respectful to one another, even be respectful to Shallon. We don't have to stoop to her level and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out the description. You can find the link to D'Angelo's video as well as the link to some other videos of mine you might enjoy and the links to my social media if you would like to go ahead and follow me the link to my second channel which i have two videos that are coming there very soon so be sure you subscribe and the link to my merch if you would like to go ahead and cop a hoodie or a shirt with my opinionated logo on it Alrighty, guys that's it for me in this video i hope you're staying safe sane and healthy during these difficult times and i hope to catch you in my next video and as always i hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world bye